You know, most people are familiar with the legend of Robert Johnson. How he went down to the crossroads a little before midnight and met a strange man. You know, some people say that was Satan. Other people say it might have been Papa Legba. But the part of the story that I like best is Robert Johnson hands this man his guitar and he takes it and he retunes it and he plays his song and he hands it back to Robert. That's where Robert Johnson learned how to play in the devil's tune. You know, it's just like a Greek tragedy. Robert died young. He died a mysterious death. Maybe he did sell his soul to Satan to become the most famous blues musician ever. So what I thought I'd do in this episode of A Song and a Beer was share this devil tuning method with you. And simply what you're doing is you're, you're in one tuning and a couple turns of the keys you're in another tuning and the guitar plays totally differently. So if you've been enjoying my CD4, How to Play Three String Cigar Box Guitar, I think you're going to really enjoy this because it's going to turn the instrument all the way around. So what you're going to need is a three string cigar box guitar tuned low to high GDG and of course you're going to need a beer. So first a little background information. With the guitar tuned GDG, if I bar across any fret, it really doesn't play a chord because by definition a chord is three different tones played at the same time. We only have two tones, the one and the five. So this is technically called G5 or commonly people know these as power chords. So if I wanted to find the third tone to make the major chord, I'd have to play the first string at the fourth fret to get the B. But what if there was a way we could turn a couple keys and then be able to bar across and play a major chord? So what you're going to do is you're going to take that low G string and tune it up to A. Then the D, the middle string, will stay the same. And then that high G, you're going to tune down to F sharp. So now when you strum the guitar, it has the three tones of a D major chord. Ha! Now that's pretty slick. So in the first example, I'm going to play The Wind Cries Mary by Jimi Hendrix. And I'm going to play the chords by simply barring across the frets using the slide. Remember, the note on the second string names the chord. In this second example, I'm going to play a little Bo Diddley rhythm, and I'm going to introduce another movable major chord. In this chord shape, it's the note on the low third string that names the chord. So in the final example, I'm going to play the House of the Rising Sun, and then later 
I'll demonstrate the third movable major chord shape and I'll explain how I was able to make the minor chords and the seventh chords. E is a house in New Orleans. They come rising sun. It's been the root of many poor boys and me. She sold my new blue jeans. My father, he was a gambling man down in New Orleans. There are three movable major chord shapes. Technically, these shapes are called inversions. These basic chords or triads contain the same notes, but the notes are stacked in a different order, causing the root note to change strings. The root note is the one tone from the major scale that names the chord. This chord shape gets its name from the root note on the second string. Second string, fret 7, is an A note. Due to the fact that we're limited to only three strings on a cigar box guitar, an extra note cannot be added to form other types of chords. We have to play partial chords by altering one of the existing notes. The major chord contains tones 1, 3, and 5 from the major scale. To create a seventh chord, flatten the first tone down a whole step. Just move two frets lower to get the flat seven tone. To create a minor chord, flatten the major third tone down a half step. Just move one fret lower to get the flat three tone. The next inversion has the root note on string three, the low A string. String three, fret five, is a D note. The seventh chord and minor chord are created just like the previous inversion. Finally, the last inversion has the root note on string one, the high F sharp string. String one, fret three, is an A note. Again, the seventh chord and minor chord are created the same way.